Switching gears, former President Trump arriving in Washington, D.C., and now likely in a courtroom to be arraigned on four criminal charges related to his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. This is fresh news now. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan has the details. Alexis, take us through what is going to happen inside that courtroom today. Hi, Diane. Yes, this arraignment, it's happening in federal district court in Washington, D.C. You can expect that it will take approximately 15 minutes if things go as they are typically planned. Uh, Trump will be advised by a magistrate judge uh, that he has these four new charges that he's facing in connection with his role, alleged role, to reverse the 2020 presidential election. Now, these four new criminal charges Three are conspiracy allegations, along with six unidentified co-conspirators. Conspirators. They are conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, conspiracy against rights, namely those are the right to vote and the right to have your vote counted when you vote in a presidential or other election. And finally, there's an obstruction charge for attempting to uh, obstruct an official proceeding. Now, the judge will ask uh, President Trump, former President Trump, if he is represented by counsel. He will be asked to enter a plea, most likely. And the judge will also set some discovery and motion scheduling for this case to go forward. Now, we may or may not get a trial date today. That's up to the judge. But we can expect when the trial date is set that it will be set for summer between 10 to 12 months from today. The judge must offer the former president bail, uh, but we can expect that he will get the same bail conditions as he did in his prior criminal indictments, and that would be to be released on his own recognizance. I understand that he will not be uh, having to sit for a mugshot today, but he will be fingerprinted. Uh, and a lot of questions, uh, I think, will be uh, swirling about whether these co-conspirators are people who the government knows who they are. They they say known and unknown, and will they be people who the government is working on or expecting to testify against the former president in this case? And Alexis, uh, let's talk about just all the legal battles that are happening. This isn't the only one. This is his third indictment this year. Uh, give us just more context about where this all stands and what this all means right now. Sure. So this is, like you said, it's the third indictment in just a small span of four months. And to those prior cases, those two other cases, the former president pled not guilty. One is a federal case where uh, prosecutors are alleging that the president kept classified documents after having left office. The other is a New York state case brought by prosecutors. They're alleging that the president falsified documents in hush money payments to that adult film star Stormy Daniels. Now, I just want to briefly take a look there at the screen, take a look at the trial dates and where they would fall if things stand um, where they are set as of current in relation to the presidential election. You have that federal case over the classified documents set for May 20th of next year. And then you have the New York case before that supposed to happen on March 25th of next year. Yeah. Earliest primaries going into the presidential election start on March 5th. The latest go through mid-September. So you have these cases falling right kind of in the thick of this. And then you have this newest federal case in D.C., uh, the latest probably happening sometime around July. So uh, all of this uh, could be expected, I think, to cause quite a lot of uh, disruption. Or maybe President Trump will use it to his advantage and uh, have a lot of publicity around it as well. Uh, a lot of the legal experts I've been talking to say that he will probably find some way to take advantage of it uh, based on his past history. Certainly possible. I mean, we've certainly seen these instances of this be polarizing and uh, kind of driving support or division or division in general, whether it's the, the support side or the um, uh, those against, uh, but certainly difficult uh, to continue to watch these this unfold. Alexis Keenan, thank you.